What's up everyone, Dan here from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch to iOS 12 the right way. Let's get started. Now preparation is important to avoid issues and to save some time later. So to start, ensure your device is supported. The devices that you see on screen can be updated to iOS 12. If you don't see your device, unfortunately, you won't be able to update. Next. Make sure you have your iOS device plugged up to either a lightning charger or wireless charger, like the charging stand I'm using right here works great. The link to this fast charging stand is in the description if you want to check it out. Lastly, I strongly recommend you back up your device before you run the update. You can use the iCloud method that's available in the settings application of your device, or you can connect it up to iTunes and back it up that way. You'll also need to ensure that you have enough space on your device, so this is a good time to maybe put your photos on your computer or on a USB. You'll need at least 1.65 gigabytes. So I'm switching over to the iPhone 8. The 10 actually updated extremely quick. I didn't expect it to do that. So we're gonna move over to the iPhone 8 with the prep out of the way. We wanna tap settings here. We're gonna then open the general tab and we're gonna go to software update. Now you can see there's a one beside it that's telling us we've got some update. This may take a second here at this point, depending on your internet speeds to check for the update. And there it is, iOS 12 popped up. You can see it's 1.57 gigabytes. It was actually 1.65 gigabytes on my iPhone 10. So I strongly recommend that you free up at least two to three gigabytes of space just to be on the safe side, get some information about Memojis and things like that. But we'll look at a couple at the end. You can tap learn more to learn more or tap download and install to start the download. Enter your password. We'll tap agree, agree again. And it's going to request the update at the bottom. We should have a status bar at the top at some point. Again, depending on your internet speed, it's downloading. It says about two minutes remaining, so we'll just give it that time to download and then we'll install. So you can see here, this has only been about maybe a minute and there's 20 seconds left. All right, so the preparation of the update actually took longer on this one. You're gonna be prompted here. You can just tap install now. So the whole process with the iPhone 8 took about 10 minutes. So we're going to let it verify. It's going to restart itself a few times. It's just restarted right now. At this point, you just wanna leave it, let it do its thing. Don't unplug it from the charger and don't turn it off. So the first status bar appears here. It's gonna run through. It'll probably restart and a new status bar will begin. Now the first status bar took about 10 minutes. This one looks to be going a little bit faster. All right, and that's it. So it took about 20 minutes on the iPhone 8. I'm gonna put in my password here. And the update's complete as you can see right there. I'm still shocked at how fast the iPhone 10 updated. We can continue here adding in any additional things. So read about the data and privacy. Should pop up with some new features. So you can actually have this set up to install the updates in the future automatically. I'm just gonna do it manually for now. The screen time is really cool. This is a new feature that's going to track how much time you're using on different applications. And you can actually use this to limit certain apps so that if you use them for more than an hour, they time out. So you can set that up right here. We'll just tap set up later in the settings and we'll tap get started. So there we have it, iOS 12. We'll just open up the settings application here and make sure we'll tap general software update, iOS 12.0. So with iOS 12 installed, I moved back to the iPhone 10. We're gonna take a look at the messaging app and the new Memojis and Animojis. So if we tap there, you'll see that your status bar here now has all the different applications giving you a welcome of all the new ones that you can use. You can create your own custom Memoji with your own face. And it's really cool if you're into this stuff, you can see that we have a few new ones like the dinosaur, the T-Rex, the ghost, the koala. So you, it's following my mouth. If I open my tongue, I can see my tongue, but I'll be going over more of these features. As of now, you can check out iOS 12 on your phone. It should have updated correctly. You should have new Siri shortcuts, group FaceTime, and depending on the device you're using, you'll have the new features. Some of the older devices won't be able to take advantage of some of these, especially the Animojis that needs the specific camera, but give it a try, see what you like. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. So that is it. That's how you update your device to iOS 12. Pretty simple, as long as everything runs smoothly. As I mentioned, if your internet speeds are slow or choppy, you might have some issues. 
You should try out the iTunes method. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you out. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. I'll be posting all kinds of videos on the new iPhone 10s and 10s Max as well. And if you want to check any of those out, unboxings, tips, tricks, and tutorials, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.